Hey everybody, welcome to this morning's webinar. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to improve your cash flow by streamlining your invoices and taking cashless payments as well. So there's a couple of things we're going to look at here today. Uh, the first being how to set up your invoice templates, how to actually send invoices from WriteUp, um, and then also how to track your finances through WriteUp as well. So you can have a look at, at um, any invoices that you've sent, any of the, how they've been paid, and you can really keep track on those by date as well. So you can look at your whole financial year, or you can have it really, really small right down to the last week or into the future as well. Um, and we're also going to be looking at ways that you can um, do your cashless payments as well using Square. So Square is a new uh, integration for us. Um, it's a really, really handy one. It means that you can either take payments in clinic so if you have one of these terminals, um, a little square terminal like this, you can take payments in clinic. Um, you can um, uh, using that using a card or their, or their phone or whatever you want to do. You can also print a receipt for them on there if you want to. You can email a receipt, blah, blah, blah. I'll go through that later on. Um, but also you can add a payment button to an invoice so that people can pay online uh, instead of doing a bank transfer with you, which really does uh, help uh, to cut down on uh, the, the time that you're waiting on getting your, um, your payments through. And also there are ways that you can integrate Square with your online booking as well so that people will uh, make a payment before they actually can confirm their booking with you. So there's a few things that we're gonna go through on cashless payments as well as streamlining our invoices. Um, a couple of housekeeping things then. Uh, first of all, if you do wanna ask a question, just pop it into the Q&A. Either I will answer it um, as we go along live in the webinar, or one of the team will uh, pop a little answer in there by text for you, and you can have a look and see uh, the answer in there. Everybody should be able to see the replies to those questions. Um, I don't think anybody, everybody can see the, the actual questions being asked, but once they are replied to, they'll pop up for you. You can have a look through and scroll through if you want to do that. Um, okay, so let's dive in. Um, we're half an hour today, so let's, uh, without further ado, let me share my screen with you so that we can dive in and have a look at write up and invoicing and cashless payments and how it all works in there for you. Okay, um, I'm, I don't know if you can, but if you, if I am in the way, my little my little face on your screen, you can move me out the way. I might be blocking a few of the. Um, the uh, buttons in here, but uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Uh, I don't know if you can move me, but if you if you can, then then please do. Right. So let's have a look at how to create first of all your invoice template. So what you're going to do is go into the main menu and down to settings, and in here you'll see a tab called invoice, and this this gives you three um tabs underneath that tab if you like so there's the basics here here you can select what currency you want to use you can actually put in your invoice number bear in mind when you're putting in your invoice number it cannot be lower than an invoice number that you've already created so if you have already created uh say um three invoices in write up your number will show as three here you cannot then put that back to one it would need to start at three or you can um you can put it on you know i say to people put it on like 1001 uh, and that just kind of starts you off at a one. Um, you can change your payment terms in here as well. Uh, at 30 days you can make that zero if you want them to pay um, instantly immediately if, if the invoice is due immediately. Uh, you can also set your VAT rate in here. Now this is this is often asked um, at right up in our support chat um, how to change that. Uh, some people don't charge it, some people do. You can change it in here, so the VAT rate here. If you click on edit, you can go in here and change what your VAT rate is. You can also add one as well if you need to, uh, if, if, if there isn't one in there already. And you can also toggle if you wanna show the VAT on invoices as well. Now, if we click into the layout tab here, this is a really, really handy one. Uh, here you can put in a logo, the logo which will appear in your invoices. This can be different from the logo that actually appears uh, throughout write up. So there's in the in the general tab, uh, you are able to open up um, your, your logo and, and have that appear across across uh, write up in documents and forms and things. But in, in the uh, invoices tab, you're able to change that. So it, it, it's, it's completely up to you if you do want a different logo, if not just upload the, the same one. There's a few 
buttons here that you can click on to show on the invoice. So you can click on, uh, you know, you might, might want to uh, show some of these things, but you might not want to. So for example, I might not want the date of birth in there, just uncheck that. And also your custom fields as well, you're able to put on here. So you might want to add some more custom fields in here that you want to pull through onto the invoice. And this is the most important bit here, the invoice footer. This is where you can add all your information on your payment terms, how you want them to pay, any other info uh, that you want to give them on that invoice. And you can pop it in here. Ignore this for now. I'll be going through this pay invoice button a little bit later on when we look at the square integration. Um, but in here you can have, uh, for example, pay by backs and you can put your information in there, payment terms on there, any other text that you want to go in. Very similar to a template that you've may have already set up for your um, appointment communications so or or for your notes or any to any templates in write up very very similar in here with all your formatting options and you can add images and things like that the variables drop down as well will pull through any information that you want to pull through from the patient record or from your uh, business info as well and then once you're happy with your your invoice layout you can just click save now that will mean that every single invoice you uh, generate from write up will pull through the same standard template like that. So, you know, everything you send out is, is standardized and it looks good, professional. So if you wanna send an invoice to somebody, you need to have your, your client active in the top right-hand corner. Um, and then you're gonna go up to create and you're gonna click on invoice. Now, any invoices, uh, sorry, any appointments that haven't been invoices in, invoiced for yet will appear here in this list. Um, you can either have them all selected, so you can invoice them all at once if you want to, or you can just select the ones that you want to invoice for. So let's just go for the, the top two there. You can also add an expense here as well. So you, may, you might want to charge somebody, I don't know, some a fuel cost, or if you're charging them for, for some kind of um, item uh, that you're giving them as part of their um, appointment, you can pop that in there as well. I'm not going to bother with that. OK, so once you've selected the appointments that you want to invoice them, you just click on generate invoice. This will bring up um, an editable invoice screen that you are now able to to click in and you can change some of these details in here. So, uh, for example, I can change my my invoice date and the due date if I want to. Also, your invoice may not be paid by the client. So you might want it to be paid by an insurer, for example, or a next of kin or, or some other third party. You can select that there. That will then update who the invoice is sent to in here. You can change the description as well. Um, clicking on these three dots is here. You can edit that. And that means you can edit the price. You can edit the tax rate. You can pop a discount on there as well if you want to. Um, you can also say uh, the discount calculation before or after tax, things like that. And then clicking update will just update that total there for you. And then once you're happy with all of that, you just click save invoice. This doesn't get automatically sent anywhere, so it's not automatically sent to your client yet, uh, but it is uh, saved now as an uneditable document. So if you did make a mistake, you would need to delete that and start again. That's that's saved now. It's it's there's nothing you can do with it. You can see it's just like a PDF, really. Uh, so your logo is up there. All the information that you've pulled through is on there. And there's your payment terms and any other information that you've put in your invoice at the bottom. Now, you'll want to send this to your client, um, preferably by email, because we're trying to go paperless. Uh, so if you click on the email button here, that will just bring up an email screen that you can uh, then send that over to your client. So if I click in um, to here, uh, it will bring up my patient's email address. I can just click that, click close, and then you can put in a, a template in here as well. Um, so if you write the same email over and over again for each of your invoices it's it's definitely beneficial to pop a template in there and you can manage your email templates for invoices in here uh, so you can just click that it will just pull through that's really really basic obviously you would write more than that and it would be a little bit better than my template uh, but that's that's just an example that you can pull through and then just clicking email invoice that will just send that off now uh, to your to your client as a pdf attachment to their email really really easy <coughs> So if I go into my emails now, I can have a look at that there. You can see that's my email that's come from my practice, the PDF in there, and there's my email. Okay, so we've had a look at invoicing. Um, let's have a look at ways that you can now take cashless payments. Um, so if we go into, oopsies, 
always zoom is in my way. Okay. Right, so to take cashless payments, um, <clears throat> obviously you can do a bank transfer. That's a cashless payment, nice and easy. Um, you'll, you'll need to uh, set that up yourself, obviously. Um, but what you can do is go into the main menu, um, go into integrations and add-ons. And in here, you'll see that there is a square box um, on there. <coughs> Now, clicking on configure in here, this means that you are able to connect your Square account. So you can connect that Square account, your Square account to WriteUp, and that means that you can actually take payments through uh, WriteUp and, and Square. So it makes it really, really nice and easy. Um, I'm already connected to Square, but you'll see here there's a connect to Square account um, button. If you click on that, if you haven't um, yet set up your, your Square account, click on that and you just put in your login details and that will just connect it to Square instantly. Really, really easy. Scrolling down then, you can actually pair terminals as well by clicking in here, pair a terminal. Terminal. I've already paired mine, but if I click on pair another terminal, you'll see that this pop-up comes up. Um, you'll need to put the location in. Uh, the location is something that you've set up in Square, so it depends where your terminal is, um, and, and that will determine which, which terminal uh, you're setting up. And then you just click confirm location. And then what it will do is it will give you a code, and you just need to pop that code into your terminal. Um, following the, the instructions on the terminal, pop that in there and it will just pair that up with write up and that's it done. Really, really simple and easy to do. If you do get stuck with it at all, please do grab us for a live chat. The button's down here, bottom right hand corner of your write up screen. Uh, we are more than happy to help with that. So let's have a look at how you take a payment on your terminal through write up. Um, what you need to do is if your, your, your patient or your client is in clinic with you, you finish the appointment, um, you then want to say, okay, that's 50 pounds, please. Uh, and they can pay it by card straight away with you. So you don't need to even invoice them and send that and wait for your payments. What you need to do is click in the appointment you've had with them. And you'll see, once you've integrated with Square, you'll see this little square box, as, uh, a square icon has appeared in the top right-hand corner of my appointment modal. And you just need to click on that. It'll tell you how much is payable and then you just need to click on take payment. Now what this will do is it will send the payment details to my terminal. You can see on my terminal now it's gone bright blue. It's not the best, sorry it's a bit bright you can't really see uh, but basically there you can kind of see there there's a pound on there uh, and all they need to do is tap their card put their phone on there as well so you could do like Apple Pay and Google Pay and things like that um, and then that will beep and that's the payment gone through. I'm not going to do that this time because uh, I end up paying for loads of appointments <laughs> I haven't had having to refund myself. Uh, but that's it. So you go you go in there, beep, and that's the payment taken. Now, on your terminal, you'll see when you've done this, um, it will come up with an a option to send a receipt. So you can either print the receipt off so you can just give it to them straight away or you can email it or text it to them. So it's really, really cool uh, to really take if you really want to take paperless to the next level and not use receipts at all. Um, just email them the receipt. It's really nice. It goes straight into their inbox. Um, I quite like that. I, I, I prefer it to the paper, to be honest. Um, and you can do that straight from the terminal. Really nice and easy. Once that's done, um, an invoice will be created for you and it will be marked as paid. So you, you completely skip that process. So by taking a payment with your terminal, um, you're skipping that create invoice, mark it as paid and all, and all of that jazz. Let's have a look at our invoices then. Um, if we go into the main menu and go to the finance tab, you can see in here, these are all my invoices that I've created and you can see uh, the status of them. Now, if somebody paid by Square, you can see here it's actually changed that status to paid by Square in there. It's done that automatically and it's been paid using a Square, a square terminal. So it's, it's super handy. If I click into that invoice, you can see that it's actually been um, stamped as paid. You can send this as a receipt as well if you want to. You can send them a, a, a paid invoice as their receipt. But if you've emailed them already from your Square terminal, you probably don't really need to, to do that. But if you do want to, again, just click on the email button down in the bottom right hand corner. If I go back to my finance list, then um, you can see uh, there's there's quite a few that haven't been paid um, and some have been paid by card as well. What you can do in here, this is a really nice way to keep just on track and, and on board with your finances. You can actually um, filter them by date. So you could actually do the whole financial year 
then you could export all of that information out to Excel and give it to your accountant, for example. Um, that's a really nice way to use it. Or you could even go, okay, I want to see who hasn't paid it. For example, if you take your, your payments in advance, so they can't come to their appointment without paying, you could say, uh, okay, I don't know why that's August. Uh, you could say, you know, for example, let's look at um, this week in January uh, and any that haven't been paid in there, you can then chase them up uh, and see who hasn't been paid. It's, it's a really, really nice way to do it. That was probably a bad example because I haven't got any. <laughs> If you look in the status here uh, as well, you can go unpaid. You can also look at any of the overdue. So if I click in there, um, I'll just see if I can actually get some that's overdue. Here we are. I've got lots of overdue invoices that haven't been paid yet um, and just unpaid ones as well. That'll keep those in, but it'll also add the ones that aren't overdue in there. Um, you can see also any of the have actually been paid. So you can just, it's a really nice way just to keep on top of your finances, really. If somebody's paid by bank transfer, you would need to manually update that as being paid. So let's just click into this one, for example. They have just paid. I've checked my bank account. They've paid. So I want to mark that as paid. You can just click pay in full. Um, you can say how they paid for that. Uh, any comments you want to put in and just click save. Uh, and that will just mark that invoice as paid for you. So if you are using Square um, or Stripe as well, um, which we do integrate with as well, and I'll kind of to talk through uh, the differences of those in the next 50 minutes. Um, if they do pay online with those two methods, uh, it will automatically mark it as paid. So you don't need to do anything with it. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. Saves you time and saving time is what we're all about here at Write Up. Okay, so um, you may have noticed on my invoices that I have been using, uh, I have a pay invoice button on there. This is another thing that you can do with Square and you can also do with Stripe. Uh, so as long as you've got an integration with one of those, and I'm using Square purely because it does more, um, as long as you've got integration with one of those, you can add that button to the bottom of your invoice. If we go back into settings and look in the invoice tab and then go into the layout tab uh, where we were before and go down to my footer, remember I said I'll tell you about this later, I'm going to tell you about it now. So if I take that out, if you want to add a button on your invoice where they just click that button and they pop in their card details and they pay for their invoice, you can do that. So what you need to put it, I've just put online payment is preferred <clears throat> in here. Click in your variable drop down, scroll right to the bottom, and you can see here there's pay link or pay button. Pay link will just appear as a link, but the pay button will make it look a bit prettier uh, and it will be a button that says pay invoice. I prefer the pay button. The pay link is fine, but the pay button looks better. Um, and then that will pop that in there. It looks weird. It's got hashtags around it. But once you come to create your invoice, you'll see you've probably already noticed there's a nice blue button at the bottom of the invoice. If I click save, that's now saved that button onto my invoices. Now I'm gonna go and create another invoice uh, for this same client. I'm just gonna go through the process, generate my invoice. I'm happy with all that, so I'm just gonna save my invoice. You'll see once my invoice has been generated at the bottom, I've got a pay invoice button. Clicking on that <clears throat> will take me away to a, um, another, another payment screen where the client can put in their name and email address and their address in here, their card details, and then they just click pay. And then the payment will go through instantly for you. Once they've paid for that, it will mark the invoice as paid, so you don't have to do that. And it will also update in your um, finance tab that that has been paid by Square. So it will just update in here, that's been paid. You don't have to do anything, it's done. You'll also receive a notification as well in write up. So in the top right hand corner up here in your notifications, you'll receive one that will say you've received payment for this invoice and you can go and have a look at that invoice. So it's not like they're kind of coming in under the radar and you're not you're not seeing them. You'll be notified about it as well. <clears throat> so that's a really, really nice, easy way to get payment a little bit quicker from your clients. It's a lot faster for them to do it than to do a bank transfer. If I go into that invoice that I sent myself and just open up this PDF, you can see this is what your client will see. It will just be a button. They click it and it opens up. This one's already been paid, but, you know, that's uh, that's how they do it. Really, really simple. OK, so that's how you set up your button on your invoice. The last thing I want to show you about your cashless payments, streamlining your, your, your invoicing and things like that is by using the online booking uh, pay in advance button. Now this does involve um, 
uh, online booking. So that will cost you extra if you did want to add that to your write up account. It's an extra uh, $4.95 a month plus fat. Um, it just allows your clients to book online uh, so that you don't have to, you don't even have to talk to them to take a booking from them. They can log in, go online, choose a, a spare a free slot in your diary and book into that. And I'll show you how that works. And then I'll show you how they can take in, take their uh, payment. You can take their payment online in advance. They can't actually confirm their booking. That means without paying. And it really cuts down on your DNAs, your no-shows, and also late payments. It's, it's a fantastic little option for you. Okay, so let's go down to integrations and add-ons. And this time we're going to look in online booking and we're going to click on configure here. Now, this will take you to your online booking admin area. Um, and in here, you're able to uh, do loads of stuff. You can switch it on and off. There's lots of things you can set up. That's for another webinar. Uh, if you did want to learn more about online booking, please do book onto our online booking webinar. Um, but if I go into settings in here and scroll down, I'm just going to make sure that that payment button is toggled on so that any um, anybody who tries to book an appointment with me, they have to pay to confirm. You can, of course, switch that off. You don't have to. Um, people can book online without paying, but for the, for the purpose of this webinar, we want them to pay. Then I'm going to go and view my website. So clicking on this button will take you to your personal online booking website that your clients can book in with you. Uh, and this looks at your diary. So they need to put in when they're available from, what they want to book, and then they just click see our availability in here. And this just um, brings up um, uh, any, any appointments in your diary that are free. So obviously they can't see what's in your diary. Uh, they can just see anything free, any free appointments that they can book into. And we'll just click in there and book. These are mandatory, so I'm just going to fill these in. But uh, while I do it, I'll kind of explain what's going to happen. So what they do is they put in their um, information in here. I can't spell and I, I can't type and talk at the same time. It's impossible. Uh, they just put in their info in here, date of birth, and then any other additional information that they want to give you that they feel that they want to give you, and they click next. Now they need to click in their payment information because you've told that payment on. So they just need to pop their address in there and then their card information and click confirm. Now, once that the payment has cleared, then the booking will be confirmed for them and then it will be added into your calendar in write up. Also, uh, a new um, if, if, it's a, if it's a new client, they'll be created as a new client in your in your write up account. Um, if they're existing, they'll be matched up with them uh, so that uh, it just merges those two and it will just be added to, to the already existing uh, client's record um, of appointments. Also, because you've taken that payment, an invoice will be created and it will be marked as paid. So you'll be able to see that in your finance tab that the invoice is paid, it's done, it's, it's, it's finished. Um, again, in your notifications, you'll be told, okay, you've received an online booking and they've paid, and this is the invoice has been created for you and you can go ahead and look at that there. So there's a few things there, really, really easy ways that you can uh, streamline your invoicing. You can, you know, um, take, you could really uh, utilize the cashless payment option in here. And also it just makes you get paid quicker. Um, it's, it's easier for you and it's easier for your clients. So it really is a win-win. I told you I was going to tell you about the differences between Stripe and Square. Um, the main, the, well, the, the, the huge difference is that with Square, you are able to get a terminal from them and you are able to take payments in person. Uh, and it just means that if you are sick, I mean, a lot of us I know are, are doing video consultations at the moment um, and you're not seeing anybody at all, but if you are and you, you did want this option, it's fantastically easy now to integrate that with WriteUp and have everything in one place. So as, you know, as soon as you've taken that payment on there, go into your finance tab, you're able to see all your payments in one place and, and how they paid and, and the terminal, you know, that they use that term. So it's just really, really simple. With Stripe, you can do, um, you can have the pay button in your invoice and you can have uh, the online booking prepayment option as well. You just don't have a terminal. Square does all of it. So if you are thinking of using one of them, probably possibly um, choose Square just because you will have that um, flexibility in the future. But either work absolutely fine um, if you just wanted it for the invoicing and for the online, online booking. OK, so we have had a couple of questions and um, one of the questions was, if I'm already using Stripe, how can I use Square as well? You, you can't use them both at the same time. So if you did want to use Square, um, 
instead of Stripe, go into integrators and add-ons. You'll see something slightly different to me. You'll probably, you'll see both of them. You just need to configure Square. And what that will do is it will log you out of Stripe um, and then it will log you into Square and it will integrate with that. You can't use both at the same time. It will pop, there will be a pop-up that comes up that will say to you, um, are you uh, this will log you out of Stripe, are you sure? And you just have to confirm that. But yes, you can't use them at the same time. <clears throat> Integrating with Stripe, if you wanted to do that, you'll see the Stripe button in here. You can click configure and it's the same process as we just did with Square. You just log in and then that will um, integrate your account. Um, and then you can start using Stripe with WriteUp if you wanted to do that. The setup for the invoices and for the online booking prepayment is exactly the same with Stripe as it is with Square. Exactly the same. Uh, there's no difference at all. As I say, if you do get stuck at all at any point, please do grab us for a live chat. The button is in the bottom right hand corner of your right up screen. We also have a help center. If you click on the little question mark in the top right hand corner, you can go in here. You can look at um, if I click in, if I type square, for example, you can see uh, there's lots of um, square guides in there. I think if I'm correct, uh, we also have. Yes, we do. We have. Um, a section on the help center just for square as well so you can have a look in here um any of your questions will probably be there but if they're not like i say please do grab us for a live chat and we'll be more than happy to 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 help you with that so that's the end of the webinar today i hope it was useful i really really hope that uh square or stripe or whichever one you decide to use will make a difference to you and your practice uh, if you do have any questions you know where we are you can just grab us for a chat most of you have probably already done that already uh, so please do get in touch with us um, we'll be more than happy um to, to to help and and help you get those set up i hope you have a fantastic day i hope you have a lovely week and i really hope to see you again on a webinar very, very soon. Bye everyone, see you later.